we call it water resiliency. So the resiliency of the water infrastructure, uh, especially driven by things like climate change, uh, are becoming ever and ever more important. So uh, the work that we do on the dewatering side uh, in helping our customers, whether they be municipalities or industrial clients, be thinking proactively uh, about how to prevent natural disaster and really mitigate and recover from that, uh, the whole dewatering application for us is, is very critically important as a focus area. Second, I would echo the notion of what we call water productivity. So again, when you think about the digitization of networks around the world right now and using smart networks to help our industrial customers uh, reduce their energy use uh, in water and water recovery uh, is very important. I completely <laughs> echo Laurent's comments that while when we're looking for new technologies, I would agree we're looking for really disruptive technologies. But what we sell to our clients every day is how do you eke out that next 5 to 10% reduction in operating cost because uh, you have to live to find another day. So we're thinking both short-term and long-term uh, in our applications.